the use of our identity cards and biometric information has has been uh, adopted by governments around the world because they f firmly believe that this is this is one of the, the key things to actually preventing um, terrorism. Possibly Scottish benefits, but I personally think that people will become very complacent. Uh, the fact that we've got IDs doesn't necessarily mean that uh, that would totally eliminate the dangers of terrorism. Well, I mean, that's, that may or may not be true, but, but um, governments are obviously very concerned with, with, with a whole variety of issues. And for example, um, um, it's, that there is clear evidence that, that um, these sorts of cards can, can be used to reduce the, the likelihood of benefit fraud. Possibly to some extent that is true, but it also depends how all the data collected is going to be used by the authorities. It could go against the, mm -hmm. the person whose data has been kept. True, but, but um, um, in this, this age that we live in, um, one of the things which is really important is to, is to gain access to, to services and products. And the one thing that having a, um, an identity card will do is guarantee that access whenever you need it. But that would raise privacy issues. I mean, all your information is being collected by various companies, and you don't know what they're going to do with that information. Um, again, we don't know the how. We don't know the integrity of the databases that are being kept. So there are all sorts of other issues that would, that are raised uh, by this whole issue of ID, ID cards. But privacy is one thing. But but the the the, the major. Th the major th thing that each and every one of us needs to do in today's society is to, to ensure that people know who we are. And an identity card with, with biometric information will guarantee our identity. I think there are doubts uh, in that direction as well, but we'll discuss that on a later stage.